Um, championship game on Saturday. Just talk about one of the best defenses you have um, in the UMAC. Um, just talk about what you guys are going to have to do on Saturday when you face CSS for the championship game. Well, it's been really nice this year. We got probably about eight or nine guys that can all rotate around back there in the defensive end, and they can put up uh, put up the same hard work that anyone else can do, just as much as the starters. And it's really nice to have that kind of depth on our team. And as far as uh, being Scholastica, we got to we got to get out there and score a goal. That's plain and simple. All right, Toby, senior, uh, you face CSS in the championship game every year. Um, played two tough games this year against CSS. What are you guys going to have to do to keep the offense going and uh, finally take down the Saints? Uh, you know, really, our defense is going to be playing well, as usual. They've been doing that all year, being uh, coming through big for us. Offensively, we just need to put one in the net and uh, build from there. Leading the team in goals is seven. Um, big game against CSS this year. You tied one time, and then... A late goal in overtime for the Saints to be victorious. What are you guys going to have to do offensively to take down the Saints in the championship game? Um, I think one of the biggest things that we're going to need to do in the game uh, is just connect passes, communicate, let just everyone be aware of what's happening on either side of the field, wherever the ball is and where the ball isn't is critical. Okay, yes. Rachel Burns and Ali Haida, a couple freshmen uh, starting for the University of Minnesota Warriors soccer team. Ladies, just talk about your season so far, um, how it's come in from coming in as a freshman and now starting in the championship game. Um, I think as a team we've really developed um, our kind of style of play. We've moved into more of a passing style instead of just kind of a kick and run, and I think that's been a key Rachel, aspect. how have you been so successful against CSS? You have four shots and goal against them this year. Um, I think the success comes from just taking shots right away and not being too busy around the top of the box or anything like that, hey, hey, yeah. um, passing quickly, one-time shots. Ali, uh, we talked to you at the beginning of the season and uh, we asked you what kind of impact you wanted to make uh, going into the season. You, and you said you want to maybe crack the starting lineup and now you're third in goals, in the t third in goals on the team with four. Uh, just talk about your season so far. Uh, I, it's been a pretty good season. We've really come a long ways and I think I'm making some sort of an impact out there. So. Uh, we're here two days away from the championship soccer game. Um, just talk about how your season has gone uh, leading the team and with nine assists. Um, well, our team has done a great job of finishing our chances, and I really have to thank them for that. But um, I've really worked on trying to find feet and find people in the air, so it's been good. All right, um, had a couple of close games against CSS this year, and then last year in the championship game was also another close one. Just talk about what you guys are going to have to do to overcome them? Um, I think we've really improved since the beginning of the season and if we continue to play as a team, play it to feet, I don't think we'll have a problem. And then uh, we're out here tonight uh, practicing out on uh, the turf. Talk about talk about the big difference between grass and turf uh, for soccer players. Um, turf is a lot faster. Uh, it goes out of bound a lot quicker and so we really have to play it to feet. We really have to find people and we can't play it through balls as much so it'll be a lot different but I think we can handle it. All right, thank you.